with a chorus of infectious laughter, for sisters captured the hearts of the internet. However, this was no ordinary laughter, and these four siblings were far from ordinary, a fact that remains evident when you see them today. The Matthias quadruplets are not just rare, they are exceptionally unique, approximately one in 15 million. Their extraordinary story unfolds as they are identical quadruplets conceived entirely naturally. In their mother Allison's womb, a single egg split four times, resulting in the birth of four identical daughters. These four indistinguishable faces erupted into identical laughter in a home video that catapulted them to fame across the United States and beyond. In this iconic clip, their father, Steve, stood off camera, recording, while their mother, Allison, held all four girls. As Steve playfully made silly noises, Mary Claire, Anna, Grace, and Emily, the four sisters, burst into laughter simultaneously, sharing the same pitch, and maintaining the same duration for their giggles. Remarkably, each pause and each new giggle occurred in perfect synchrony. Steve remarked on a 2017 episode of Oprah, where are they now, I think it's just one of those videos you can't help but laugh at. There's something about the synchronization of their laughter starting and stopping. It's just a contagious type of laughter. The term, contagious type laugh, may be an understatement. Steve's one-minute home video resonated, quite literally, with audiences across the United States when it was featured on the television show America's Funniest Home Videos. The clip induced such hearty laughter that it garnered multiple cash prizes from the show. In 2006, the video was even crowned the program's funniest video of all time. This accolade also brought the family a handsome prize of $250,000, which, according to Steve, changed a lot of things in their lives. The video continued to achieve significant online success, amassing over 15 million views on YouTube alone. The giggling quadruplets continue to bring smiles and laughter to viewers to this day. The family marveled at the video's incredible staying power during their appearance on the Where Are They Now? program. Allison noted, people are still delighted with that video. But the Matthias family didn't stop there. Steve went on to upload another video from the day after he recorded the original giggling video. In this second clip, he sat at the table with his daughters and once again succeeded in making all four of them burst into laughter. Astonishingly, this footage also achieved fame, accumulating more than 22 million views on YouTube. The girls themselves became guests on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno in 2007 and The Oprah Winfrey Show in 2008. They even starred in a commercial for Target in 2005. Between these appearances, their parents utilized YouTube and their now-defunct website, MatthiasQuads.org, to share the quadruplets' most memorable moments with the world. However, it wasn't until February 2017 that the world had a chance to reconnect with the Matthias quadruplets. Oprah decided to feature the family on her, Where Are They Now? program, a show that revisits past guests and reveals how their lives have unfolded since their initial appearances alongside Oprah. By this time, the famous quadruplet sisters had reached the age of 16, breaking free from their identical childhoods. Each of them had developed unique personalities, interests, and distinct looks. During the interview, Grace explained, we're similar and different to each other just by the things we're interested in. Grace went on to share their individual hobbies, revealing their artistic talents. Mary Claire and Emily enjoy doing digital art on their computer, she explained. Anna enjoys orchestra a lot, and I enjoy photography. Regarding their appearance, the girls had abandoned the practice of wearing matching or coordinating outfits every day. Anna recalled, I think we stopped dressing alike maybe in, like, elementary school, when our mom was kind of like, you guys can dress yourselves in the morning, because she'd always pick out our outfits. Anna continued, so whenever that happened is when we kind of started choosing our own style. We all have similar senses of style, but there are also differences. Emily likes her hair short, and the rest of us like it longer. Emily, who opted for shorter hair compared to her sisters, explained to the Miami Herald that people often inquire about her choice. 
They want some reason, maybe that I wanted to be different from my sisters, she said. I just wanted to cut my hair. Despite their diverse styles, the sisters shared an unbreakable bond. Mary Claire expressed her gratitude for having more outgoing sisters, saying, I don't really always have to speak for myself because there's always somebody else doing it for me. In a few years, it's likely that the four quadruplets won't be living under the same roof. Each of them dreams of attending college, envisioning themselves at different universities. Grace anticipates that it will be a completely novel experience not to have each other around all the time at the same place. It'd be hard to adjust not having them around all the time at the same place, she admitted. Nevertheless, the girls acknowledge how fortunate they are to have spent so many years together under one roof and to have so many siblings. Mary Claire couldn't fathom life as an only child, stating, it'd be sad and lonely. We wouldn't have three best friends. Anna also recognized the depth of the connection they shared and wouldn't trade it for anything. The, America's Funniest Home Videos, thing would never have happened if I didn't have sisters, she reflected. Most of the stuff that has happened to us or me wouldn't have occurred if we didn't have each other.